Mary Roth, Beaumont Avenue in Brookfield. Hi. Um, I lived in Brookfield for 17 years. Um, I'm also uh, a fellow UW law grad like you. I graduated from law school 23 years ago. Um, but I've taken a very different path than you did. When I graduated, I got out and I started working. And I didn't take the highest. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't take the highest paying job. I didn't take the job that gave me the most power and attention. I started working at a small firm and I started working with the people. And then I went to the police academy because I had been a prosecutor and I thought I could help people better as a police officer. And that was great. And then I started working for corporations. And I saw all the greed and how they mistreated their employees. And then I started working for myself. And I went to grad school and I studied economic development and I studied um, planning in the city. And now I work for myself, I speak three languages and I help a lot of immigrants and people who are hurt by the current policy of immigration and your so-called tax cuts that hasn't helped any of the people who are lower class or middle class, and they will not help anyone like that. I am appalled by your president and how he treats women. I am appalled by your president and how racist he is, and I am going to say it, he's racist. And I'm And I'm appalled that people don't stand up to him. To him. And I want you to go out there, and first of all, I want you to get your facts. Because with my experience going out there and talking with people and helping people and meeting people, my personal experiences with immigrants and people who are lower economic level, my experience is completely different than what you're saying is the fact. So I would encourage you to go out there and meet people and talk with people and research and get the facts before you stand up to Trump. And I want you to stand up to Trump. I want you to tell him that people see through all of his lies and people see through all of his bullying and we want him to stop. So please talk it up. brought up uh, Ms. Roth were discussed during the election. Who was elected? People who were able to get it and they voted. And they didn't vote for him. And he will be the President of the United States <coughs> January 20th, 2021. And uh, as, you know, as the President of the United States, you know, I would like to see people <coughs> at this on an issue by issue basis. You know, I spoke strongly against Trump's terrorists. As a Republican, you know, I think he's wrong on that issue. Uh, I don't see much support for the executive order that he signed to bring the families together from people who are on the other side. And it seems to me that when somebody does something you agree with, whether you voted for him or not, you ought to say so. So I am not going to be a knee-jerk Trump lover. I will urge people not to be knee-jerk Trump haters on that and to look at what he does on each and every issue. And you know, I, you know, I am, you know, I am waiting to hear any of my friends from the left stand up and said Trump did the right thing when he signed that executive order to bring families back together. He, started, he signed the order to start the problem in the first place. It's a crisis he created. So, I, if, if I can, he was not he elected by yeah, the did. majority of this is the public. Uh, it was his policy to start the crisis. And, 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 and if I can finish, finish, if I can finish, yes. you're interrupting you you me. If you're interrupting me. Okay. But it was so, his. I also believe that with the investigations and all the indictments, there is clear evidence that he had help from a foreign government. Yes, he, he did. Acted yes. Improperly. As a fellow attorney, 
I imagine you respect the law, and I'm sure as you are following things unfolding, you are appalled by what he has done and what the process is uncovering and what your colleagues are trying to do away with. Okay, let me respond this way. Mr. Mueller has had over a year to address He's handed down some indictments. None of them have to do with the Trump campaign in cahoots with the Russians. Not one. Yeah. Yeah. With Not all due respect, you are inside. Uh, this is about the eighth interruption because I'm keeping track of you. And by, you know, I asked you in the beginning I know. to be respectful to people who have opposite opinions than you, including me. And I would repeat that again. I do not want to adjourn this meeting early before 8.20. But if this keeps on going on, I'm going to have no other, uh, alternative but to do that. So, you know, remember we can disagree without being disagreeable. This is not uh, a meeting on who can yell the loudest, or who can applaud the most, or who interrupts whom. This is a meeting where we are supposed to discuss issues, many of which are conflicting. And I ask for your respect. Next up is Linda Boucher of Kevin Hour Drive in Brookfield. I want to thank you for your service. 